This is the video review for the Head Robots Blood of the Dark Warrior uh, new head and weapon pack for uh, Revenge of the Fall, I guess, Hunt for the Decepticons. Was that what that was? Was that the theme line he came out in? But Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon. Um, whose head was very fat and clownish, as you can kind of see. It's not horrible, but it uh, it's a little fat clownish. Yeah. I'm pretty much done with that. And you can see the pack comes with a more G1-esque head, a more of a samurai-looking helmet, um, a couple different faces, which we'll get to. A new turret for the cannon, and a couple new swords, which are chromed with a hand, with a green handle. Um, they're harder plastic, and then we'll, we'll get into all that soon. As what's cool on the back is it has some real quick instructions on how to install the head, and I'll show you just how easy that is. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, useless swords. Um, now, I'll just put them off to the side. Um, you want to have a screwdriver that's kind of thin. Uh, the thinner the better because in order to do it, you basically turn the head and you want to really give it a good... You don't want to like twist it off. If you push it too far, it will snap something. But just give it a good firm turn to one side or the other. And you can see the screw hole there. Now, the thicker the shaft of your uh, screwdriver... And I, I realize what I said there. Um, but anyway, the th a thicker screwdriver is going to have a harder time getting all the way in there, you're going to be unscrewing at an angle, which is possible, um, but it's harder to do. The thinner your screwdriver, uh, the easier it's going to be to get in there. And um, it's a Phillips head screwdriver uh, and unscrew the screw. So you just get in here and you just uh, unscrew this screw on this side. I'll go ahead and pop that out and set that off to the side. Uh, then do the same thing on the other side. Turn it all the way around. Uh, get in there and uh, and just unscrew this screw as well. Pull the front part off. It really would help if I got that screw all the way out of there. But just pull the front part off, and I usually turn this back here and just when it's easiest if you just turn it around normally, and then just kind of put your finger right behind the top of the head, and just kind of tilt it forward. It pops right off. Um, and you can just push the head back together. You can put the screws back in there uh, if you don't, so you don't lose them, which I'm going to do real quick because especially here in the studio, it'll fall down behind a crack, and I'll never never see these screws again if I don't put them back in here. So. Go ahead and just screw the screws back into the head. So there you have a nice little uh, decapitated bludgeon. So if you want to reenact the uh, cover to Transformers Generation 2 number 7 or 8, I think it was. Maybe it was 6, I don't remember. But you have Megatron. Actually, I might. I've got a G2 Megatron. Maybe I'll go put that in his hand at home. So anyway, uh, the packaging itself is, is nice. It's just a uh, just a clamshell design. And just like most of their other stuff. So you just pop the package open, uh, pull out the uh, instruction card, and that'll give you access to the parts. Just pop the sword out and the cannon tank um, and all that. Just pop it off, set that to the side. And the head itself, just like many of their other releases, just snaps right onto the, the, the peg that remains uh, behind. Just snaps right on. And there you have it. There's Bludgeon with his new head. Uh, his head still turns. Um, and we'll get into some other features later. The turret, which will go on in, I'll show you in tank mode. Well, let me show you real quick just in tank mode. Uh, here's the sword. Uh, this turret just slides over the handle of the sword like that. And then it just slides right in. You saw a picture of it in the opening montage that had the, the cannon on. But there it just attaches uh, to the turret of the tank. Now there might be, you might eventually get a little chrome rub here uh, from putting the sword in and out if you do it a lot. Um, but I, I've done it several times already and haven't had any issues, and the chrome seems to be on pretty thick, so even if you get a little chrome rub, uh, it's not going to cut all the way down into the green, so hopefully the, that'll stay the same. Well, it may just be silver plat, I can't tell, but, um, but yeah. Um, when you're not using it uh, in robot mode, this piece actually just fits right onto the gun. It just pegs right on, so you can store it right there on the back when he's in robot mode. And, um, and one of the nice things about that is that it makes the handle thinner. So you've got these nice hard plastic chrome swords. They're not, they, they bend a little bit, but they're not the soft rubbery plastic like this guy. If you bend it as much as this, it's going to snap. Um, so they're, they're nice solid little sword and short sword. Um, and also because of this, the handle fits nicely in his hand and he holds the sword and you don't have to force it past the fingers like you do with this, uh, this thick turret handle. So that's nice as well. 
Um, and, and the little sword's pretty much the exact same dimensions as the uh, as the regular sword, so we can hold those. You can, if you want, store the other sword right here in the thing. And uh, just like on the original, you open it up, it can slide right into the sheath here in the turret as well and close right back up. It actually I think closes a little easier there uh, than, than, the, than the original rubbery plastic dagger thing. Um, and the final feature of, of the, the head itself is that you can pop the uh, helmet off, rotate it around, and then you've got kind of the missing his lower face uh, IDW bludgeon head. There's not quite wires, it's more just kind of a, a series of grooves underneath his face, but uh, you can give him the, the bot, the mouthless version if you so choose. I, li I like just the standard skull. Let's kind of just pull it off. Oh. Turn his head back around. But yeah, it snaps on nicely. It, uh, everything holds together well. Um, you, still, you can still transform with this. Uh, when you do transform, you probably want to, like, as you pull on the legs, you kind of want to push on his head because uh, pulling it down will sometimes cause the helmet to get caught and pop off. Um, but you can actually... Yeah, just, just make sure you put, to push down on it. But you can fully transform him. His, his head sticks up a little bit more out of there uh, than this one did. But um, but you're, there, as you can see, if you, when you fold the arms up, you just fold one up just to show you. Um, do you want to plug in? There we go. And when you fold the arms up, there's still plenty of clearance here. Nothing else goes into the space. So, uh, yeah, you can still totally transform him with the new head on, which is also a bonus. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this. It was it's only like I said, it's only like 16 bucks. Uh, you can get it at TF Source. That's where I got mine. Um, I'll put the link down there in the video, like I usually do. But um, nice new sword, nice shiny new sword matches his his gun. And, and somebody else was mentioning that the uh, the head, his head, is a different color than the, than the painted head. But I think uh, the paint on this is what is what made the difference. I think the plastic on this matches the red, the actual red plastic on his body a little bit better than the paint did on this one. So uh, it's 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 kind of a trade-off, but I re I really do like that head. I think it's much more menacing and cooler than chubby, chubby clown head. So yeah, definitely worth doing. Uh, somebody asked if I could please put this on the deluxe, and this one doesn't fit on the deluxe. There's there is a bludgeon head coming out for the little deluxe uh, based off a of wreckage, I think, figure that was in the two pack with Whirl, um, and uh, that'll be coming soon. So. Uh, keep an eye out for that. But anyway, there it is. There's the uh, Head Robots Blood the Dark Warrior Head Upgrade Kit.